I don't think I've ever been afraid of death, which is perhaps an effect of being in the industry. You can see that once someone's passed away, I really do feel like they aren't there. I think that there is a lot to learn about life from death. The first day on the job, I remember walking into the mortuary and seeing my first human body on the table and I, and I remember the feeling, I almost felt as if the room tipped to the side and I didn't want anybody to know that I was feeling this and she was covered with a towel but her feet were exposed and they, I remember looking at her toes and they were curled backwards slightly and I'd never seen that. So I just remember focusing on her toes because I wasn't sure if I was confident enough to look around the room. Whatever condition they're in, I just think, how can I prepare them for their last hurrah? Often it's just a case of if I was going out on a Saturday night, I'd go in, I'd have a shower, I'd get dressed and then I'd do my makeup. And that's exactly what we do. We bring them in, we give them a shower, get their clothes, make them look beautiful, do their hair last, and put their lippy on finally. It's that same procedure, but just done on a mortuary table as opposed to in your own bathroom. Honestly, probably the worst part of my job is dealing with toenails. Something really simple. I don't like toenails. Um, practically, I think that's the worst part. I remember the names of, say, the first ten people that I ever prepared. And it's not like a, a, a sad memory. It's quite a nice, fond memory because I really enjoy my career. So I, and, and specifically over the past couple of years, I remember my favourite ones as well. There's, there might be something about their outfits or the, the requests from the family that I really connected with. So I remember these people. It's quite strange. Like philosophically, lots of things drew me to the industry, but what keeps me here, I think, is the heart. It's really about respect and dignity and all those things that we can actually do for these people. So at the end of the day, we go home and we feel pretty good about ourselves as well. So. You know, when people say, oh, no regrets, I think that's silly as well. I think you should regret some things because you, sh you should be doing everything that you can to have a good time and, and love people and all that sort of thing. The biggest lesson that I've learned about myself is that um, not to you know, have an argument with somebody and leave it, uh, you know, tell people that you love them if you really love them. People just die. People leave at you know the age of two the age of 10 to the, the age of 99 it just you, you cannot dictate when your time is up mm -hmm.